everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working on the air intake system for both the fallout shelter and the entire house. I figured a way of kind of not wasting my time if there's never a nuclear holocaust and we never need to use the fallout shelter as a fallout shelter, having an air intake with filtration and everything like that, it would be a complete waste of my time to do it. But I know I still need to put an air exchanger in the house, and I did want to pre filter the air before it came into the house, not because I'm worried about there being fallout coming into the house, although I guess that would be a benefit too. But just dust and pollen in the um, you know in the springtime. Uh, there's wildfire fire season where sometimes you'll be smelling smoke, and you know why not filter that out before it comes into the house? I'm going to be running filters. Uh, these guys, uh, these are um, HEPA air filters. They've got some carbon pre-filtration on them, and uh, I've been. I've bought a bunch of those and what I'm going to be doing is building a, a filtration box where I'm going to have four of those filters uh, and two air intakes. One which will run into the fallout shelter, one which will come into the main house. So that way all I'm really doing in terms of the fallout shelter that's like wasting my time if there's not a nuclear fallout event happening is that I'm making an extra air intake hole. Uh, so that both structures share the exact same unit. I'm really happy about that. I don't like feeling like I'm wasting my time. I want to get benefit out of things no matter what. So what am I doing right here? I've got two holes here. Uh, the way I'm cutting these out was that I, uh, I drilled a hole through right there and then I used a uh, jigsaw to cut out the rest of it. Uh, when I did it, I made them just a little bit too small to actually fit these. This is the piping I'm going to be using. There's a bunch of them back here. Incidentally, the prices on these have gone way up. I, my recollection is that those pipes, they're uh, four inch uh, ABS pipe, that's 10 feet long. I thought those were more like in the $20 range. Each one of these was in the $56.38 range. Uh, so they've gone up quite a bit, but you know, you gotta breathe, so I bit the bullet on that one. So what I'm creating here uh, is that uh, two pipes of that uh, design are gonna come up into the middle here, and there's gonna be a box built around this. And on the sides, there's going to be two, um, two filters on this side, two filters on this side, and then some doors that are going to swing down and hold those in place. The bottom of the doors are going to be open, so air is going to be able to go up inside and filter through both sides, and then it'll be able to go into one or the other. I don't want to have uh, both of these open at the same time, and the reason for that is when I'm drawing air into the house, I don't want to be sucking air in from the root cellar. You know, that's not the the freshest air in there. You'd also be drawing like potentially hot humid air into the root cellar, which would make it not work as well. And it's just, you know, there's probably some radon in the root cellar also. So what I'm gonna be doing is uh, when these guys come up through here, I'm gonna have them penetrate up a little bit, not necessarily this high, but enough so that I can put a cap on one or the other. So when we're uh, using it to run into the house, there'll be a cap on the, uh, the root cellar side of it. And when we're using it to run into the root cellar, the cap will be moved onto the other uh, side over here. And it just occurred to me that I bought two caps when I was at the store, but one totally would have been fine because you're either gonna be using one side or the other. I could have just gotten one cap and you move it from side to side. Oh well. <laughs> All right, so that's what I'm doing today. Uh, I need to open up these holes a little bit more so that these uh, pipes are gonna be able to pass through. Uh, easily and then uh, over the next day or so I'm going to be constructing this box and uh, I like this solution. Like I said, I like solutions that even if uh, some kind of disaster doesn't happen, you still get to use uh, you still get to use that device, you still get benefit out of it. That's what I love about having a pantry, even if there's not like some sort of a terrifying event, you still get your pantry and you can use it for normal use. I like solutions like that. I like the solution. That's it. Thanks for watching.